Mr. Villager, get yourself cured, son. There you go. <laughs> Hello everybody, my name is Python and welcome back to another episode of my Minecraft Let's Play. We're on the 46th episode my friends and I want to once again sincerely thank you guys for the amount of support you showed in the previous episode. It is very, very much appreciated. Let me just go ahead and get rid of that block right there. And uh, yeah, in today's episode, let me just show you my inventory really quick. Can you tell what has happened since the last episode just from looking at my inventory? Can you tell what's happened? Can you? I really do hope you guys can tell what's happened. Is that I can't tell if this guy is a cleric or a brown robed villager. I'm kind of hoping he's going to be a brown robed villager because, uh, you know, it, it would be kind of nice to have uh, another brown robed villager. I'm trying to think of what other brown robed villagers there are. You've got, uh, you've got the, oh, you've got a shepherd actually. Uh, shepherd. If we wind up getting a stockpile of uh, emeralds, that might be kind of cool. But uh, anyway, here we go. Uh, let's get this guy sort of barricaded a bit. Uh, right, okay, this seems like a pretty legit place to have it. Hey, buddy. All right, and uh, get in there. Yeah, Sonny. You ain't getting out there, son. <laughs> Lol. But yeah, guys. Yeah. If you guessed that I got a farmer villager since the last episode, you would be very much correct. As you can see, I actually have one, man. It's fantastic. It is actually freaking fantastic. And I wasn't actually finished going ahead and farming up all of the stuff because I got interrupted by finding that uh, that villager zombie. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> I've been doing a lot of villager curing and killing off villagers that weren't quite up to spec. So, uh, that was a thing. But uh, here we go. This is where I got to with the farming. We're just going ahead and grabbing pretty much as much as we possibly can at this point. So uh, let's just go ahead and finish off this here farming session. And then, yeah, let's get on with some trading. Ah, you see, this tree is starting to look all kinds of awesome with all of them dangling vines now, man. That's looking so freaking sweet. Nice one. All right, buddy. Let's see what you got. So, 22 wheat for an emerald, 15 potatoes, and 16 carrots. Okay, so we could do four loads of potatoes per stack, four loads of carrots per stack, and uh, only two loads of wheat per stack. Okay, sweet. Well, we can go ahead and get all of the trades going. All farmer villagers I would consider to be VIVs, very important villagers. Uh, eight pumpkins. I'm pretty sure that's the best pumpkin trade you can get. Because that means per full farm, you can do eight loads of pumpkin trades per stack of pumpkins. That's pretty damn crazy, guys. That really, really is. Right, now then. Uh, yeah, we're just going to go ahead and uh, spam the heck out of this guy. Because, yeah, he's kind of nice. Oh, oh, there was a guy. He just done got cured. Oh, he's a cleric. He isn't a brown robed villager at all. Huh. Well, okay. That's not too bad, I guess. Alright, so let's go across to this one. Boom. Four loads per blooming, uh, per stack of potatoes, man. That's brilliant. Alright, so let's just, uh, let's just see how we do. If we come out and go back in, is he gonna allow us to trade it again? No, he isn't. Alright, so let's go ahead and go to the carrots. There we go. Oh, we get so much XP for doing this, man. It's brilliant. Okay, so potatoes are now re-unlocked. Boof, that's all of that lot. 61 potatoes. This is so brilliant, though. All right, and you can go in there. We've got five carrots remaining. And, yeah, aside from that, everything else is pretty much good to go. We can trade cakes. We can get biscuits. Even though these are cookies, I've got the English UK language pack on, so it calls them biscuits instead. Uh, we've got apples. These will be useful for gold apples, actually. That's kind of nice. Uh, melons. Uh, pumpkin pie. That might be a pretty worthy trade to go for. I don't know. I feel like that might be kind of nice. Uh, so, what? Are you going to allow me to trade potatoes? Yes, he is. Sweet! We got 40 emeralds from that guy, man. What the heck? Well, not all from that guy, but we got a pretty damn substantial amount. All right, so, uh, let's see this guy. 39 rotten flesh. Eh, it's not that great, is it? And to be honest, my other cleric villager is just so much better. Look, 36... And he also gives me, like, two glowstone, really cheap bottles of enchanting, really cheap enderpearls. I found out that uh, enderpearls can go up to seven. So, yeah, we've got, actually got the cheapest here, which is amazing. Got loads of lapis, redstone, you know, we're pretty much good to go. The only thing that is a bit of a rip-off is this gold. But I don't think I'm ever going to trade gold. So, I'm really, really happy with that, my friends. <laughs> Alright. Anyway, let's get into the first thing for the episode. Alrighty guys, so as mentioned in the last episode, the first thing we're going to do in this particular episode is we're actually going to go ahead and clone a whole bunch of maps because uh, I want to go ahead and get myself one of them beautiful, beautiful map balls put up inside of my tree base. So let's go ahead and get ourselves a bunch of empty maps and I do believe the way to copy them is quite simply 
to just put a full map next to an empty map in your inventory and it should work. So let's just try the theory out. So we've got the Northwestern Territories. Can we? Oh, here we go. Oh, sweet, man. It freaking works. All right, so you go back in there and I've got another Northwestern Territories map. Oh, sweet. There we go, my friends. All my maps have just been copied over and we've got them in a very specific formation on here so we can just put them down real easy. So all we've got to do now is get ourselves a bunch of item frames and then we can get this thing set up. So yeah, let's get it. Alrighty guys, so the time has come to put these item frames down and all of the maps on there. So I'm thinking we just go ahead and put it here because it's uh, sort of nice and visible from all areas. You know, you've got this place here which has got a bit of glowstone in front of it. And everywhere else just doesn't really seem that good. Uh, nah, yeah, I'm thinking this is definitely going to be the best place. So, let's go ahead and put you up there, you up there, you up there. Okay, next row, western, central... Eastern, we have Southwestern, Southern, and we have Southeastern. There we go. Check it out, guys. We have ourselves a map wall inside of our tree base now. Freaking epic, dudes. We are really starting to make some headway with this base now. I'm really, really starting to like it a lot. So, as mentioned also in the last episode, what I'd like to do is I'd like to make myself a bit of a living quarters bedroom area. So, this is the space we've got to work with. It isn't a great deal of space, it has to be said, but it should do us quite nicely. Uh, I'm thinking we move this out the way. Oh, hang on. I'm thinking we move this out the way to, I don't know, um... Uh, I don't really know, to be honest with you guys. I am going to put it right over here. Yeah, that should do the job. So we can have a bed here with like a little bedside table with like a, a, a plant pot on top of it or something. Uh, yeah, I'm liking the sound of that. Let me go and get a bunch of living quarters -y kind of items. And uh, yeah, we'll get on with this together. Alrighty guys, I've got myself a bunch of materials, all of which are pretty much going to be used in this thing. So uh, let's just remind ourselves, we've got that up there. Uh, that would be the armory slash toolsmith area. That would be the elytra launcher. And finally, we've got ourselves this bedroom area. Alright, so let's start off with the bed. Let's go and chuck you down there, little buddy. Uh, can we put flower pots on top of chests? I can't remember. And one thing I've just realized is I haven't got myself a crafting table on me. It might be a good idea if I go ahead and grab one. I might just uh, I might just steal a bit of wood from somewhere. Uh, I don't know. I might just steal it from here. There we go. I'm, I'm stealing wood from my own base. How, how bad is that? <laughs> just because I can't be bothered to go downstairs and get some wood. Oh, my lord. All right. So, yeah, we're heading up here. Uh, we're going to put this down really quick. We are going to make ourselves a couple of flower pots. There we go. And I want to test this theory out. I can't remember if you can actually do this or not. So let's give it a go. Boom. Uh, oh, you can't. Dang it, man. Uh, I had a sneaking suspicion that that would be the case. In which case, let's go ahead and put that down with that on top. Uh, let's go ahead and put down the item frame. This item frame is going to go right here. And we are going to put ourselves a clock inside it. Because, you know, clocks on walls makes sense, does it not? So let's put that right there so we can see what time it is when we wake up in the morning. <laughs> Even though we will know already what time it is because we'll be waking up. In the morning, so that's great. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna sell some chests and some other generic stuffs. Let's go ahead and put ourselves one of these in here. Oh my lord, that was a squeak and a half, wasn't it? <laughs> All right, so you can go in there, and I wouldn't mind putting a bookshelf in just to just to make it look nicer. So let's do that, and then maybe put that right there. I'm gonna put a cactus in there. Uh, yeah, I'm kind of liking it. I'm digging it, man. Okay, and what if we put a hmm. We could put... Do you know what? I'm actually thinking of moving this. If I go ahead and grab this back. And let's have them back. And I'm going to put the leaf block right there. And what I'm actually going to go and do is... I'm actually going to once again steal another block from my own tree. So I'm going to take this. Alright. And then we are going to place that right there. I'm just going to plonk it there. I'm going to put this right here with a pressure plate on top. And then we're going to have ourselves a wee little seat. There we go. A little, a little, a little seating area, huh? That's kind of nice. So you can go there. And again, we could put the clock on there. And that's looking all fine and dandy. Nice one. Okay, and then maybe we could have a chest here. Yeah, man. This is kind of nice. I'm liking this. We've got ourselves a bit of a living area. We can go to sleep and we should find, the, you know, waking up on this block right here, which is kind of nice. And then obviously, you know, if we need to, like, go anywhere where we might want to be dying, we could just unload our stuff and put it in here. So when we respawn, we'll be right next to the chest again and all will be good. Oh, man. 
Dude, I'm so happy. We finally got our final branch done in terms of functionality. We've got ourselves a bedroom. We've got ourselves a brewing area. We've got ourselves an elytra launcher. We've got ourselves an enchanting area. And of course, the toolsmith, armorsmith, weaponsmith area thingy. And also, we've got ourselves a bunch of residents, which is freaking sweet. Nice one, man. I am really, really happy with this. I've got to say, man, it has been a long time coming for me to get this base completely finished. It's not quite completely finished yet, you know, we still got to wait for the feedback from you guys regarding this here moss on the branches. Uh, once again, I'm pre-recording this because I'll be away at the time of this going out, so, uh, yeah. But it will be the last episode I'm putting out before I come back, and, uh, you know, we're all back up to date with comments and whatnot, so obviously I do apologise for not uh, having been able to read your comments, but, you know, just, just, just bear with me, my friends, just bear with me. It's all good. It's all good. Alright, so, I'm feeling pretty good about this, but I think, my friends, it is time to move on to something else. Let's go do something else. Aha! Gotcha trapped, fool! Haha! <laughs> Alright, so, I'm really hoping that this guy is gonna be like a, 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 a toolsmith or, or an armorsmith. Um, I don't know, weaponsmith? I don't know, man. I feel like we've already got a weaponsmith that's pretty decent with the 16 coal trade. So, I'm hoping that this guy's going to be pretty decent. So, yeah. In the meantime, while we're waiting for him to kill, we can jump into the comment question of the video, which comes from the Angry Unicorn. Did you have a job before YouTube? If so, then what? Uh, I had two jobs before I became a full-time YouTuber. Uh, the first job, I was at an Apple sort of official reseller. And basically my role there was to sort of help build up and repair Mac systems, so Apple Mac systems. And I also did uh, sort of secure data wiping as well. So basically, you know, I was part of the process pretty much wherever we went. We booked in things that we picked up from somewhere, we wiped all the data off it. And then what we did is we, you know, we, we specced up the PCs and the Macs, get them all up to whatever spec that the customer may want. And then we installed them and repaired and did all that stuff. And uh, yeah, that was pretty cool. Uh, it was a good first job. It actually started off as an apprenticeship, but it wound up being my full-time job. And then after that, I wound up being a full-time web designer. And yeah. It's, it's, it's pretty cool. And then from the web design job, I, I found myself being able to do YouTube full time. So, I am pretty happy about that. Like, as in really, really happy about that. So, <laughs> yeah. Alright guys, so we're now waiting for this guy to go ahead and cure himself. But in the meantime, what I want to do... Oh my lord, look at all the rubbish we have on us right now, man. It's crazy. But anyway, what I want to do for the remainder of this episode is I actually want to go ahead and redo some of the projects that I had before. Oh my lord, look at all this stuff, man. Let's just go ahead and uh, stack it all up. Uh, all this stuff can go in here. There we go. Fantastic. Alrighty, so... You may be wondering, what are you on about when you say you want to go ahead and redo some of your stuff? Well, maybe redo isn't the correct word. Maybe improve is the correct word. Because if we just have a bit of a fly around, I think that would be the best way of showing you guys what's going on. Looking at the top of this, uh, you know, this uh, here canopy city. Oh, wait, what the? Okay, that was a fail launch. What? All right, and forwards, and space, and yeah, there we go. So... We're now flying around, and as you can see, a lot of these roofs, well, a couple of these roofs in particular, look a bit boring. For example, these two roofs right here. Now, this was built before the days of accenting and me learning how to make, you know, interesting roofs. You know, this is a semi-interesting roof because, you know, it's, uh, it's sort of slabbed. Whereas this, it's sort of flat and it's a bit boring. This one's kind of the same. It's all made of one material. And I really do sincerely think that I could do a much better job. So... In terms of this roof, what I am very simply going to do is I'm going to replace the inside of this with uh, wood and we're going to keep the stone on the outside as like an accent. So, what I need to do is I need to grab myself a bunch of wood and a bunch of other materials perhaps. I'm trying to think of how to make this one a bit more interesting because this one is of course my automatic cactus farm. Uh, how to make it more interesting? Tis the question. Hmm... Right, I think we'll leave this one for last since I don't have an idea at the moment. But in the meantime, I'm going to get some wood and we can get to work on making this roof a little bit more interesting. There we go, my friends. We've got the slabbed section of the roof now done. So all I've got to go ahead and do now is uh, replace the stone section of the stairs. So this shouldn't be too difficult. So we've got this bit right here. There we go. And let's just stir it all up, baby. Stir it all up. There we go. All right. And obviously, we've got to do the same over this side. 
shouldn't be too difficult. Right, it shouldn't be too difficult, hopefully. Uh, although this tree does seem to be... Ah, oh, dang it. Well, this tree does seem to be posing a bit of a conundrum. That's not quite correct, is it? I need it to be upside down. There we go. All right. I may actually have to break some of these leaves so I can actually get in here and, you know, do my job. All right. So, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this part for now. And now we can go ahead and... Can we... Can we... Can we? Yeah, 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 okay, cool. We can actually do this as we go along. Nice one. I'm hearing a huge barrage of zombies right now. Oh, there's a villager zombie down there. <laughs> what was he doing down there, man? Oh, man. I feel like I should go ahead and cure him. Just to, you know, keep appearances up and all that kind of stuff. Uh, right, okay. So, uh, how is this looking now? It's it's looking better. It is definitely looking better with the with the accents and all that kind of stuff. Uh, what I'm now thinking of doing is maybe if I go ahead and add a bit more height to it, maybe just by doing that. Uh, can I like get under there? There we go. Oh my lord, this tree is actually kind of like in the way, like completely. Okay, how's it looking now? Hmm, looking pretty decent. Uh, could I potentially? No, I won't be able to do that, will I? Hmm. I'm just trying to think of how to make this a bit more interesting. Maybe if I go ahead and replace this section with uh, with stone slabs as well. Okay, there we go. So what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to break up the materials that I'm using here. You know what I'm saying? So maybe if we have a little bit of this. There we go. That's looking... Uh, that's definitely looking better. And then could we maybe get away with doing this on top? Does that work? I don't know, man. I don't know if that really works. Hmm, maybe we... Oh, hang on, that's, that wasn't intentional. Maybe we don't need to do this. Maybe it just needs to stay at the same height. Hmm, I'll tell you what, let me try and figure it out, and I'll be back momentarily. There we go, my friends. Sometimes the simpler designs are, in fact, the best ones. And I've got to say, I am uh, I'm definitely happier with this roof than I was with the old roof. So, yeah, I'm kind of liking that. Sweet. Okay, so now we have the, 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 the task of improving this roof to make it look a bit more interesting. In fact, I've just realized something. I should probably go ahead and light this up. There we go. One thing I am absolutely not going to have is mob spawning on here and then proceeding to go down and then go in my base, go up the tree and then kill all my villagers. That is not happening. Right, now then. So, like I said, we have to go ahead and try to improve this roof now. How exactly we're going to achieve that is another question. I honestly have no idea at this particular juncture, so I think what I'm going to have to do is gather some materials and do some experimenting and bring you guys back. So yeah, I'll be back in a moment. But uh, in the meantime, let's cure this guy. Aha! You will serve me in my tree base, son. Ah, I got the villager trapped, so I think it's time, my friends, to have our first ever sleep inside of our tree base. Here we go. Look at that clock ahead. I can see it. It's all nice and clear in my view. And yeah, we woke up in the correct location. Awesome, man. That's freaking sweet. All right, let's wait for this guy to cure, and let's see what both of our new villagers have got. Aha! Here we go, my friends. The sound. That sweet sound of a villager being cured. What are you, my friend? You are a shepherd. Um, I don't know, I don't know how to feel about that. But uh, if we do manage to get ourselves a whole stockpile of emeralds, then, you know, I can buy a bunch of wool from you, right? Because this guy, after trading, uh, gives you all of the colors of wool available. So... That's kind of nice, but uh, I think there's better ways of farming out for wool, huh? Yes, there's sheep. There's things called sheep, so I'm sorry, sir. I don't really think. I, I don't know, ma'am. I don't know. I might keep... I don't know. We don't have any other shepherds because our other shepherd was killed, wasn't he? In the in the episode 42 accident of idiotness. <laughs> All right, so in the meantime, let's go and check out what this guy is. Uh, Hello. Hi, uh, this guy is, he's a torchsmith. Okay, so he's got a shovel with efficiency one, and he's got a coal trade for 19 coal. Bit on the expensive side, it has to be said, but uh, let's see what his other stuff is. So, okay, eight iron, that's kind of nice. Uh, efficiency one on breaking one. Ay, ay, ay. All right, well, let's go get some, uh, let's go get some iron, and we'll continue trading. All right, so let's get some more emeralds right there. Uh, this guy should open up some new trades, and he has. Okay, so diamonds, and then we have... Oh! That's kind of nice. Fortune 2, Unbreaking 3. That's really quite good, actually. I would definitely go ahead and take that. Alright, uh, do you have any other trades you're going to give me, buddy? Oh, it looks like maybe there is. Uh, oh, wait, is there not? Is that legit the last one? 
Uh, let me go ahead and try trading some of his early ones, perhaps. Uh, maybe he'll give me another one. I don't actually know. Uh, now the pickaxe does appear to be the last one. So if we wind up dying, we can at least get ourselves a fortune pickaxe pretty nicely. Hey, man, that's pretty sweet. I'll definitely take that. Uh, but in terms of his other tools, they're a bit crummy, let's be honest. I mean, what's this? 11 emeralds? Uh, oh, that's five emeralds. That's, that's quite affordable. We can get ourselves a decent, you know, iron shovel for a pretty low amount of emeralds. Hmm. Or actually, no. No, no, no. Thinking about it, it's going to be a high amount of emeralds. Oh, good lord. All right, so you're actually not that good on reflection, aside from the fortune pickaxe. Hmm. Oh, well. Doesn't matter, my friends. We've got to solve some new villages, whatever the case may be. So in the meantime, back to the roof. All right, guys. So I'm now just placing in the final blocks for this here roof improvement for the good old cactus farm. All right. I think that's just about done it. So let's just go ahead, head back in really quick. And we're going to have a look at it from the top. From the bottom, it's definitely looking a little bit better because it's starting to match this one a little bit better, which is really, really nice to see. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, head up here and do some parkour so I can get to the top of these here roofs. All right. So get on top of here and then we go on top of this tree because, you know, parkour is cool and that's something I can actually do, kind of. All right, so if we head over here, and uh, yeah, this is the this is the new and improved roof for the cactus farm. Let me know what you guys think, because I, I kind of like it. I actually kind of like it. I'm liking the fact that I introduced cobblestone into it to try and make it a bit more uniform alongside this building right here. And uh, I don't know, man, I feel like it's got a nice amount of height and a nice amount of detail to it, so... Yeah, I'm pretty happy with how this has gone, my friends. I really am pretty happy with how this has gone. So, guys, I think on that note, ladies and gentlemen, it is time to end off this episode. I want to thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy the episode, and of course, you're excited to see more, do be sure to drop a like rating. And, of course, you can subscribe if you want to know when the future videos are out. But in the meantime, my friends, I want to thank you guys for watching. Your support, as always, has been very, very much appreciated. And I will see you guys in the next episode.